Hello everyone, I am back to the cockpit of an Airbus A320 and today I'll try to demonstrate to you a procedure which no pilot ever dreams about doing. This is called the ditching. We are now cruising at flight level 120, that is 12,000 feet and shortly both of our engines will fail and we will need to find a solution to survive. So let us proceed. We see some interesting indication and uh, both of our engines have failed. The autopilot has disconnected and we have a lot of different warnings and bells. Currently the ram air turbine has kicked in which is providing with, with us with a little bit of electricity. Okay, now I'll try to select engine mode selector ignition and optimum relight speed is 300 knots as per the ECAM. I'll notify the ATC that we have lost both engines. Uh, Marcel's uh, Airbus A320, we have lost both of our engines. Uh, okay, thrust levers idle, FAC1 off and back on. This uh, gives us back the rudder control and we are trying to relight the engines. I'll try to start the APU, auxiliary power unit, to provide us with a little bit of air and electricity. On. Uh, so let's see how it goes. And in the meantime I'll also grab my paper checklist, my cure rage, so that I can consult what I am doing is correct. Okay, there wasn't any relight in 30 seconds. I will turn off both engine master switches. Again, we receive a lot of warnings. I'll clear a few of them. And it seems that the APU has kicked in, providing us with a little bit of electricity. Now, the checklist says that if APU is available, we should select the APU bleed on and try to restart the engines with the help of the APU. So I'll try to do that by turning each engine master to on one by one. Okay, it seems that engine one doesn't want to start. We can at least try in engine number two. And continuing with the checklist. Again, a lot of bells and whistles. We need to reach an optimum speed, which is the green dot speed. At our weight, 54 tons, according to the cure rage, the speed is approximately 193 knots. I'll slow down to 193 and continuing with the checklist I will notify the cabin and cockpit. Uh, cabin prepare for ditching, prepare for ditching. Because there, it seems that there is no better option. Cabin signs are on, galley is off and uh, Below flight level 150, ram air is on. Next item is the ditching checklist. Well, for approach, we will use landing flaps 3. Uh, actually, only slats will extend, the, and this will happen slowly. Minimum approach speed will be 150 knots. at the weight of 54 tons and uh, the next thing is we will configure the aircraft. I will now select flaps 1. Mm, checking the instruments we can see that there is no life left in the engines. They do not respond. So I can now turn off the masters, 
clear all the messages associated with the restarting engines and any others which have no meaning for us at this uh, moment. Okay, I will further extend the slats to position 3. And as you can see, I'm trying to fly parallel to this wall and as close to the shore as possible so that we could be rescued as easily as possible. Actually, due to the APU running, we have extended the flaps correctly to the position 3. Uh, that means we have the slats and flaps so we will be able to have a smoother touchdown at a lesser speed there are some statuses uh, which notify us of some failures with the with the flight computers but that is not as bad as we might be expecting. So. We have a status of low hydraulic pressure and we are now a little bit less than 3,000 feet above the ground. We check that the gear is up. We have landing flaps 3 and we can also put landing flaps 3 here. At 2,000 feet I will notify the cabin for ditching and press the ditching push button. I can do it now. And cabin prepare for ditching. Ditching in one minute. The GPWS gives an indication that we are 2,000 feet above the ground because we have APU. I will probably disengage the GPWS system as much as I can. I'll increase the speed a little bit to reach 150 knots. That is the recommended speed, the recommended approach speed for ditching. At 500 feet, I will call brace for impact. At touchdown, I will turn off the engine masters and APU. Engine masters are off anyway. So I'll put away the QRH and the focus on the ditch. Brace for impact, brace for impact. 400. And rotating to 11 degrees of nose up attitude. A little bit less in this case. 30, 20, retard, retard. And impact. Retard, retard. Retard, retard. Retard, retard. Now we are floating. I grabbed the checklist. Marcels, we have ditched, we have ditched. Fire push buttons and APU off. Release the fire agents. Evacuation. This is emergency, evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. And uh, evacuation. 
and I'm getting out.